Welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. I'm Chris, your favorite stat reader, and we have the ALCS game number three. The Guardians hosting the Yankees, and the Yankees are minus 115 on the money line. The Guardians are minus 105. The over-under is seven runs. Cleveland getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two runs or more. Now, these are the overnight odds, they're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. And the Yankees and Cleveland both had an identical record, you know, at home this season. So it'll be interesting to see how Cleveland bounces back after dropping the first two in New York. It's supposed to be 57 degrees with six mile an hour winds and no rain in Cleveland tomorrow. Schmidt pitched once against Cleveland this year. Five innings, two runs, one of which was earned. The Yankees won that game three to two in Cleveland, and he struck out seven. Boyd pitched once against the Yankees this year, five and a third, three runs, three earned. Cleveland won that game nine to five in 12 innings in New York, and he struck out two batters in that game. Head to head, the Yankees are eight and two. The Yankees are on a four-game winning streak. The home team's on a four-game winning streak. The home team is seven and three. The favorite has won the last four games they've played against each other. The favorite is seven and three on the money line, and the favorite winning by multiple runs, laying a run and a half, is six and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10. The over is 5-4-1, and one, and the over 7 specifically is 5-3-2 and two in their last 10 meetings. The Yankees are 3-2 and two in Schmidt's last five starts. Four and two-thirds innings pitched, 4.4 hits, 2.8 runs, 2.4 of which were earned, 5.6 strikeouts, two walks, 0.4 home runs, 86.2 pitches per game, 17.5 pitches per inning. For whatever the reason is, Cleveland has not confirmed that it's going to be Boyd as of yet. So when we find him in his last 10 appearances, he's averaging four and a third innings pitched, 5.6 strikeouts, 13.9 outs recorded, 3.7 hits, 1.6 walks, 1.6 runs, 1.2 of which were earned, 0.4 home runs, 77.4 pitches per game, 17.4 pitches per inning. And in his last five starts, he has not gone more than four and a third innings pitched. So Cleveland's kind of going bullpen games when he's in and he's not in like I said longer than four and a third in his last five starts the Yankees are seven and three in their last 10 they're on a four game winning streak five runs four runs seven runs nine runs three runs and a win three runs and a win five runs and a win six runs and a win Cleveland's on a two game losing streak obviously they're two and two in their last four four and six in their last 10 nine runs 10 runs seven runs nine runs five runs and a win seven runs and a win two runs and a loss and then three runs in a loss to the Yankees. I'm going to take the Yankees with the money line. I will take the Yankees laying the runs. I don't know if the offense, and I'm using air quotes, is going to continue because I think the wind had a lot to do with the fact of the Yankees bats coming to life, that and the smaller ballpark. But I think this is an under game unless the Yankees chase Boyd out of the game really early. Um, unfortunately, as a fan of the Yankees, I'm not too concerned about the team that we're playing in the ALCS. I'm more so concerned about the teams that we'll have to play in the potential World Series matchup. Now, these are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.